Did Meghan drive Kate to tears before her wedding as The Sun reported in November 2018? Or is Kate jealous that the Queen supposedly favors the suits alum? Then there's the gossip about Kate and Prince William feeling bitter toward Meghan for allegedly breaking up their trio with Prince Harry. Basically, there's been a lot of drama. But just when you thought the royal rumors were coming to an end, investigative journalists Dylan Howard and Andy Tillett shared new anecdotes about the supposed feud in their June 2020 book, Royals at War, The Untold Story of Harry and Meghan's Shocking Split with the House of Windsor. Not only do Howard and Tillett suggest Kate and Meghan did clash, but they also allege that Queen Elizabeth and Kate conspired against Meghan. Here's everything we know about the Duchess of Cambridge and the Queen's alleged plan. Despite moving to Los Angeles in early 2020, Meghan and Harry still don't seem to have escaped their royal family drama. That's because there are still rumblings about what went down between Meghan and Kate, which reportedly occurred at a dress rehearsal for the royal wedding. In an exclusive excerpt from Royals at War, obtained by Nikki Swift, Dylan Howard and Andy Tillett reported, In a moment of tension, the issue of their children's titles had come up, and it allegedly unleashed a torrent of pent-up emotions. Apparently, Meghan was upset that her children with Harry would only ever receive a lordship title, as opposed to being princes and princesses like Kate's kids. As Howard and Tillett reported in the book, the bad feelings intensified when Kate supposedly didn't invite Meghan or Harry to her 37th birthday party in January 2019. The Sussexes were allegedly outraged by the snub, as Tillett and Howard described in Royals at War. Prince William reportedly tried to smooth over the tension in a phone call to Harry and allegedly warned his brother that Meghan was breaking up the family. It's not, it's not easy for anybody. Just a month before the birthday drama, the Duchess of Cambridge and Queen Elizabeth allegedly held a secret meeting to discuss Meghan's behavior, insiders told Tillett and Howard. Royals at War claims that Queen Elizabeth shared Kate's concerns about Meghan and took it upon herself to help the former actor navigate royal life. Insiders also alleged that the Queen didn't want to repeat the mistakes she felt she had made with Princess Diana. It's not clear how the Queen allegedly mentored Meghan or if her efforts were well-received. Howard and Tillett reported in Royals at war that the Duchess of Sussex was intent on marching to the beat of her own drum, regardless of what anyone else said. Meghan's strong will was allegedly apparent when she delayed the first photo op with baby Archie, who was born in May 2019. She also didn't pose for a photo outside of the hospital after her son's birth, as Kate did for all three of her children. Once it became clear that Meghan was intent on doing her own thing, Howard and Tillett's book alleges that the tension with Kate intensified. The authors reported that the Duchesses reached a standstill in their supposed battle when the Duke and Duchess of Sussex moved to Los Angeles. However, this doesn't mean that they're the best of friends now. In an exclusive excerpt from Royals at War, Howard explained, Kate made visible attempts to get along with Harry and Meghan in the past year, but now things have changed. Insiders told me that Kate's standing in the palace has never been so high, so she feels no obligation to make nice with them. She will not be apologizing or attempting to mend fences until they reciprocate the effort she and William have been making with them. Of course, Meghan and Kate might be doing just fine, 